Alright guys, I want to make a quick little video showing you how you can start a three phase motor off a single phase without a variable frequency drive or rotary phase converter or anything like that. Now this is a small three phase motor. This is just a quarter horsepower. So it may or may not work on a bigger motor and if you did you'd have to have a bigger capacitor to do this. So what's going on here? This is hot at the moment. So we have 240 coming straight from the breaker box on a 30 amp circuit. So that's two of the three legs that's hooked to the three-phase motor. The third leg is the white wire here. So that's just the green, just a ground. Black and red is two of the phases, and white is the third phase. This is a reversal box here. All this is so when you flip this, motor hums. Either way you put it. But what you can do. You can always start one like that. A lot of people you can rope, wrap a rope around there and start it like a lawnmower engine almost. As long as it's spinning, it'll take off and it'll actually generate the third phase. This is how a rotary phase converter works. So I discovered this accidentally just messing around. So let me get this set up and I'll show you what I came up with. Alright, so the same motor, wired up the same. And now I got this capacitor hooked up to it, which would be a run capacitor hooked up across it can be hooked either across, either one of those phases hooked to the third phase so now what this is doing it's causing it's like a phase shifter it's shifting the phase of the voltage that's what a capacitor would do on an AC circuit like this so it actually simulates a third phase and my only concern is I haven't tested it with the motor under load and up running for a long time I don't know if this is what actually caused damage to the motor like overheating or anything or even the capacitor for that matter but it, you can still reverse it by switching two of the three phases around on the motor side of it so if you had this set up as a uh, like on a momentary switch hooked into this and just use it for just starting it that might be your safest bet but uh, it will work <laughs> See which way it's spinning. It's spinning counterclockwise, so I'll reverse it. Now it's spinning the other way. So you can reverse it while it's spinning too, but you do. If the capacitor is discharged when it does that, it, it'll, it'll like run at a slower speed. Now I don't know how this will affect startup torque. Or anything like that. The capacitor's still cool. The motor's cool, but I know it just warmed just for a few seconds just to show you. But so here it is hooked up to the fan side of the capacitor, which I'm sure is a lower setting because the fan is a smaller motor than what's in the compressor part of the outside unit. So now it acts. It sounds calmer, I guess you could say. Now I left it running for about five minutes, and it got pretty warm. So I'm gonna guess that that was probably the wrong setting on there. So now, when you start it, it's probably about the way it's supposed to start. But it won't reverse while it's running now. So it's not quite enough capacitance to do that. And as soon as it stops, it'll start in the other direction. So that might be a better choice. Like I have no evidence that this is going to work for a long term use. It might just be just like a bench test thing, you know. So I don't know. But I feel like the fan setting on this is a better setting for the motor. But I figured it might have burned up one of the third windings if it was left on for a real long time. So just wanted to add that to this. If anybody's got any more information on this, if it's something that's commonly done, which I've never actually seen it anywhere, uh, this could eliminate a uh, variable frequency drive on say like a drill press or a grinder or even a small lathe or something if you had a three-phase motor like this now I tried it on my big green three-phase motor which is a five horsepower and it wouldn't do nothing it wasn't enough to do anything so if this actually is a thing there'll be a chart available somewhere for showing the capacitance value of it now, I did hook it up to the uh, fan side of this capacitor and it worked but it took off slower 
so that's the uh, lower capacitance of it so that's about a 35 microfarad capacitor and obviously it's rated for 270 volts so we're safe on that and the motor sounds different with it hooked to it than when you unhook it so I don't know if that uh, like I said I don't know long term damage to the motor or not but yeah, it's something you can at least test motors with I mean if the motor sounds right that's where a three phase motor sounds when they're on so in the startup sound it sounds like a three phase motor too it just takes off pretty quick it's got a pretty good torque on the low end so no it's just a just a little something I came up with so let me know what you guys think on it and uh, if you leave a comment, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.